we're not going to play uh, with the empirical rule and um, the bell-shaped normal distribution here a little bit. So this first problem, consider the birth weight, where, blah, 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 blah. consider the birth weights, which is bell-shaped. The given mean is 3.39 kilograms and the standard deviation is 0 0.55 kilograms. Before we analyze the data, we will convert the mean and standard deviation to pounds because most of us are probably most familiar with weight in pounds. So first, average weight in pounds. Well, we start with 3.39 kilograms, and we need to change those kilograms to pounds. So we go to our handy-dandy cheat sheet, and we know that one pound is 0 0.53, 4536 kilograms. So kilograms on the top cancels out with kilograms on the bottom, and because the 0.4536 is in the bottom, we divide, and I end up with 7.47 pounds to the nearest, uh, to two decimal places. And we're going to do the same thing for the standard deviation. We start with 0 0.55 kilograms over 1, and we multiply by 1 pound over 0 0.4536 kilograms. Again, kilograms on the top cancels out with kilograms on the bottom. I divide and I'm left with 1.21 pounds. So I now have the mean. So we could say the mean is 7.47 and the standard deviation is 1.21 with our mu and sigma symbols. All right, so we're going to use those to um, label our normal distribution curve. So we know, based off the empirical rule, that right down the middle is our mean. And our mean is 7.47. Now, I'm going to go to the right first, just because I'm a positive person. So if we go to the right, we are going to add 1.21. So I end up with 8.68. I'm going to add 1.21 again, and I get 9.89. I'm going to add it again, and I get 11.1. .1. Now, when I go the other direction, I subtract 1.21, right? You go to the left, you, you, sub you take it away. So I've got 6.26. I take it away again. And now I have 5.05. Take away 1.21 again, and I'm at 3.84. And again, remember, these are in pounds. So we are going to use this, um, this dealio, this normal distribution curve, with these numbers um, to answer some questions. <clears throat> so number four. 95% of the weights are within two standard deviations of the mean. That's the empirical rule. The middle 95% of birth weights are between what values? Well, here's the mean. One, one, two, one, two. So between here and here is 95% of my data. That means from 5.05 .05 to 9.89. And those are in pounds. Just refreshing. So 95% of babies born will have birth weights between 5.05 .05 pounds and 9.89 pounds. So we would say anything outside of that, anything over here or over here, would be considered unusual. Number five, what is the probability a baby will weigh less than approximately 5 pounds at birth? Well, using the empirical rule, we have to say approximately. So this is approximately 5. So less than that would be everything to the left. So that's 0.15% plus 2.35%, which means the probability is 2.5%. So if you're having a baby, you have a 2.5% chance of that baby weighing less than 5 pounds. Number six, what's the probability a baby will weigh more than 5 pounds? Well, again, here's 5 pounds. More is everything to the right. It's all of this. Now, you could add all of that together, but we already know from our previous problem that this over here is 2.5%, and we know the whole thing is 100%. So if we take all of it, 100%, take away the 2.5% that we know is on the left, and that will leave us with 97.5% on the right. So we can find the area to the right by subtracting from 100%. Number seven, what is the probability a baby will weigh less than approximately 8.67 pounds at birth? Well, this is approximately 8.67. When it says less, we're going to go this way. Now, a quick and easy way to do it is remember that when you cut the normal distribution in half, each side is 50%. So I've got the left 50% plus 
this 34 percent so less than 8.67 would be approximately 84 percent so 84 percent of babies born should weigh less than 8.67 pounds at birth number eight what is the probability a baby will weigh more than 11 pounds at birth well here's about 11 more is to the right and based off the empirical rule that would be approximately 0.15 percent so less than one percent of babies way less than one percent of babies are more than 11 pounds so if you have a kid that's more of 11 pounds that is highly unusual highly okay number nine <clears throat> Approximately how many babies out of 1,000 born would you expect to weigh more than 11 pounds? Now, there's a couple ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you two ways. So we already know that more than 11 pounds is 0.15%. Now, you can do the easy way and say, well, 0.15% of 1,000 is how many? Well, percent to a decimal, so 0 0.0015 times 1,000 will give me 1 1.5. Okay, that's one way to do it. And if you're like, wow, I didn't see that. Well, remember that we talk about um, percent. When you see percent, that percent goes over 100, and it's part out of whole. Well, if we have 1,000 babies, what's the part of that? So you can use your cross-multiplying to get 100x <clears throat> equals uh, 15. Is that right? 0.15 times 1,000, 150, 150, sorry. And then when we divide by 100, we get 1.5. So either way, you get the same answer. So it's whatever you see is what you should do that works best for you. All right, let's do another problem. Let's use a mean value of 5.08 and a standard deviation of 1.87 to label this. So I want you to hit pause and fill it in and then come back and see if your answers match mine and then we'll answer some questions about it. Okay, I filled them in and uh, it's hard to write in a small space with your finger so hopefully you, I, I kind of made them color coded so you could kind of see a little better. Um, but when you go to the right, remember you're going to add your standard deviation going to the right and you're going to subtract the standard deviation going to the left. So now let's answer some questions using this one. Approximately 95% of the customers, customers wait between what times? Well, remember, 95% is two standard deviations from the mean. So from the mean, 1, 2, 1, 2. So we would say 1.34 to 8.82 minutes. That's 95% of customers. How likely is it that a customer will wait more than 11 minutes? Well, the closest thing we have to 11 is here at 10.69. So how likely is it? You've got a 0.15% chance of waiting more than approximately 11 minutes. What proportion of customers can expect to be served in under 7 minutes? Well, that's about here. Under that would be to the left. So again, halfway over here is 50. Add on this 34. So 50% plus 34% means that approximately 84% will be served in under seven minutes. All right, now we have a popcorn company that builds a machine to fill one kilogram bags of popcorn. They test the first 100 bags and find that the bags have an average weight of 1,040 grams with a standard deviation of 20 grams. Fill out this normal distribution curve. Okay, so go ahead, hit pause, fill it out, come back and check your answers. All right, so the numbers should look like that. Um, you have your mean in the middle, to go to the right, we're going to add 20. To go to the left, we subtract 20 in order to find the empirical rule and using those pieces. So the middle 95% would receive bags between what weights? Well, middle 95, it's two away. So here, here. So we're talking 1,000 grams to 1,080 grams. How many customers would receive bags weighing at least one kilogram? Well, recall... That one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams, if you move your decimal three places to the right. So that's here. And when it says at least, that's that much or more. Now, again, you could add all of those in, but recall from our empirical rule that this piece is 2.35, and this is 0.15, both being percents. So on this half, if we have 2.5%, then on this half, we have 100 minus 2.5%, 
or 97.5%. So 97.5% of customers will receive bags weighing at least one kilogram, which was the goal of the company, goal of the machine. How many customers would receive bags weighing less than a kilogram? Well, if this is a kilogram, the left would be this way, and we just said that would be 2.5% of customers. And I would be upset if I'm buying a one kilogram bag of popcorn and I get less than that, right? That's called a ripoff. And that appears to be the end of this video.